Starting in the 1880s, the Fred Harvey Company hired young women from the East and Midwest to work as waitresses in Fred Harvey establishments along the Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe Railroad. Although local managers could make staffing decisions, one woman, Alice Steele, became legendary for overseeing interviews in Kansas City and placing girls individually across the West. If you walked in with a lot of makeup and painted fingernails, chewing gum, that was a pet phobia of hers, uh, you might just as well get it because you just didn't do those things. Now, they expect you to be a lady and you better act like one or you, you were in trouble. When I was interviewed in Kansas City, she interviewed nine girls that day, but she tired too. I got chosen the first day I went in to be interviewed. So I said, we could sure use you, we need you today, but I don't know where you could handle it or not. And I said, I can. I'm a farm girl, I was born on a farm and I've handled a lot of heavy things. <laughs> I didn't have to talk too long till he says, you're hired, go get a trial uniform on. So it was my first time to try on the black and white. They said, oh, pull and get down on the end because you're a little bit shorter. They put all the taller girls back in the back. It's me right here on the end here. I felt like I had graduated from the farm to a small city. And uh, it was more fun. Oh yeah, more fun being a Harvey girl. I was 17 years old and uh, had never been over 50 miles away from home, as I remember. And uh, I got a ride with a girlfriend that lived across the street, her aunt, took me to Kansas City because there was no jobs where I lived. And I never did get to go back home. And they put me on the next train and sent me to Vaughn, New Mexico. It was the smartest thing, I think, that I could have done for that time. I love New Mexico, and uh, I did from the beginning, and I still do. By the 1930s, Fred Harvey hired local women, in addition to those recruited in Kansas City. The company also opened the doors to Hispanic and Native American hires in positions previously staffed solely by young Anglo women. I was a Harvey girl from 1939 to 1945. The Alvarado Hotel was one of the exclusive hotels in town. And me going in there was an experience and something that I learned to do a lot of things that I would have never learned before. I enjoy the people that went there. They asked a lot of questions because I was Hispanic the dark hair, the dark eyes, and most of the women that worked there were fair, blue eyes. So I was kind of an attraction. They asked oh, what nationality was I, how come I could speak Spanish and English, and I guess that interests them. And it interests me too, because I was talking to people that they were wealthy people. And at first I was nervous about it, but I learned to just keep on going. 